not a huge surprise From that they'd the be in first States. place at this point, Please but surely a couple more points that they Madison feel that they could have garnered there with that performance. Evan Bates. So here we go, our final couple of the night. From the United States, Madison Chalk and Evan Bates. Two-time reigning U.S. silver medalist and have put up the season's best in the free dance early at the Nemelhorn. So have already had some success, even though they took silver overall in that competition. use of the music on that lift and I really like watching Madison the fluidity and flexibility of her upper back many times in the Paso Doble and in these Spanish rhythms the woman is interpreting the cape as the man is the matador and she certainly has that fluidity just a little stumble from Madison at the start of that first twizzle but a nice recovery of really interesting movements in that partial step sequence. You almost forgot you were watching an element with those nice sliding movements and a nice broad range from Madison and her flexibility as well. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates closing out the short dance here in Chicago. Well, it certainly was an exciting performance. I really thought it was interesting how they chose music in the second half of the program. That was very triumphant, almost happy, Madison and it was Chalk a bit of a nice Evan lift from the United after States. we saw all of those other programs that were more serious and more intense. It was a nice way, actually, to end the program. And as we mentioned earlier in the house tonight, the reigning gold medalist, Meryl Davis, and of course, more importantly, your fiance, Charlie White, <laughs> in attendance, signing autographs earlier on the concourse. A lot of folks still excited to see them. So odd to not have them on the ice this season, but uh, certainly great sports and great representatives of ice stand still uh, making the rounds. Absolutely, and they were treated to some really great performances, including this one. As I mentioned in the beginning, this lift, it wasn't excessively acrobatic, but it was very musical. It hit some really nice shapes, and I think it was perfectly appropriate, and it had a nice editing eye to it, whereas this team is capable of a lot of acrobatics, and they decided to tone it down, which was, which was very nice.
We take a look at this twizzle right in the center of it, right? There, Madison just lost her balance ever so slightly. However, they will still earn the level of difficulty, assuming the technical specialists decide that she maintained the same rate of revolution and speed across the ice. And typically, when you see a bobble like that, as we did in live time, it's usually an immediate drop in one level. And take a look at this step sequence. Compared to this program, which I saw only on video from one of their earlier international programs, this is so much stronger, so much more finished. They had a lot of work done between then and now, and I really think the maturity came through a lot more in this performance, despite a few hits and misses technically here and there. Well, they seem to have a great balance between the fun with the piece and the seriousness. It wasn't just, you know, straight face the whole time or smiling the whole time, but they really did it well with the music. dance score. 68.96. That is a new season's best total for Madison and Evan and puts them in first place. So it's a new personal best 68.96 for the short dance of Chalk and Bates. And that easily pushes them into first place by nearly five points ahead of the Shibatanis. And after the Shibatanis, it's a full almost 12 and a half points. So Chalk and Bates doing what they do best, and that's heading out to the, the top of the field here in 